Hey friends, not Mindy here. Uh, this is Mindy's husband Scott, and this is uh, Hubby Dubs coming at you. So today is day eight of the Mind Games devotional from By the Well for God. The title of the page today is Take a Breath. Um, so Mindy's going to paint this tag looking thing. This nice bluish color. Uh, also, consider subscribing to Mindy's channel and uh, liking videos and giving thumbs up and commenting. Uh, all your input is greatly appreciated. Uh, be sure to check out Taryn and Jess's videos. Um, they're Hubby Dubs videos and they'll be, uh, you'll find links in the description. So, uh, and he's going to use this um, Cubert stencil. And uh, she's going to tape it down. And one of the, while she's doing that, one of the scriptures that was mentioned in the devotional was Philippians 4 and 8. It says, finally, my brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are good, report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. And so she's taped down this, the Cubert stencil, and she's using what looked to me like a, a bingo dauber, but I'm thinking it's actually glue. So bingo glue. Um, so she's using that glue instead of paint of some kind. And then she's going to take some shiny, shiny powder and sprinkle it all over the page so that it'll stick in the design of the glue and look like the Cubert board. So, all right, there she goes. And then she'll take the little heat gun and melt all those things down. Uh, and they'll be really shiny, nice little uh, pattern. So the way I think of this scripture in Philippians 4 and 8, it's kind of like um, a filter. Now we, you know, it's a good idea to take uh, an emotional or a mental inventory of yourself and and try to assess your strengths and your weaknesses where you fail uh, on a regular basis and um, learn to recognize patterns. Mindy's going to decorate this uh, pocket. The patterns that you fall into, um, where you tend to um, stray, and uh, one way to do that is is through uh, your thought patterns and matching your thought patterns up, uh, running them through this filter. Is it is what I'm thinking right now honest? Is it just? Is it pure? Uh, about other people, uh, but I, even thoughts about yourself. Are are the thoughts about yourself honest and just and pure and lovely? Um, and if not, toss that away. <laughs> toss that thought away and replace it with something uh, biblical. You can find scriptures that address your specific um, shortcomings and memorize those scriptures. And when those thoughts come up that aren't edifying you and aren't furthering your Christian walk, you can start quoting scripture to yourself. That's what Jesus did in the wilderness. That's how he used uh, scriptures when he was being tried. Um, he said, have you not? 
bread. It is written, um, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. So she's done more glue and sprinkles on uh, this Rubik's Cube. And the human mind is a scary place, by the way. It's it's dark, and everybody's mind is kind of that way. But the more you use the tools that, that Jesus gave to us and the apostles gave to us, um, the more natural and automatic that will become. And actually, you'll find encouragement in that. Um as well, I heard a preacher say one time, um, you can't stop a bird from flying over your head, but you can stop it from making a nest in your hair. So what he meant by that was, you, you know, thoughts come and go, but you get to decide what it is that um, that stays there. You get to decide the thoughts that you focus on, and if something comes into your mind that doesn't fit in through this filter um, then just cast it aside and find something in the scripture that is true and that can help you those are truths eternal truths all right so she's gluing down this little pocket um, with the Rubik's cube She can put the little thingamabobbers in it. The little bingo cards. It looks like a Monopoly card. And uh, now she's going to make a little decoration of this little domino. Just glue it down. Cut it. Glue it down. This uh, lost me. Maybe it's just to give it some dimension. Some depth, I guess. Um, and then also it's it's important to keep a good attitude a positive outlook on life as well makes me think about um, Joshua and Caleb in Numbers uh, I want to say it's Numbers uh, 13 when that Moses sent a man from every tribe into the land of Canaan to spy out the land. And they got there and they saw all kinds of uh, crazy things. And some of the people, it was very discouraging for them. They saw giants. They saw things that were too big for them to conquer. But then they saw some positive things too, like a cluster of grapes that was so big that they had to carry it on a staff between two people. And when they came back uh, from spying out the land um, and to, to provide a report back to Moses, most of the people, most of those 12 men, 10 of them came back saying, this is too big a job. Uh, this thing that God has called us to do is too big a job. But then you had Caleb and Joshua who were saying things like um, that if the Lord delight in us, then he's going to bring us into this land. And then Caleb said, we are, we're well able. <laughs> and he was recognizing that, that it was all because God said that it was possible. So keeping that kind of attitude um, and not letting the negative see the, all the things that seem too big for you you're not alone in this fight. And I think Philippians, the fourth um, chapter, may have um, mentioned some of those things. Like verse 7 talked about having the peace of God, but then um, verse 8 said, uh, or 9 said, that the God of peace, that's what we have with us anyway. Uh, so here is the stills. And um, 
I may have talked a little too long. I apologize. But again, like, subscribe, and uh, keep a positive mind. You all have a great day. God bless you.